Hello, Buchanan. Let's pray. God, I pray that the dreams and the visions that all of us have, I pray that they come true in the name of Jesus. I pray for health, wellness, love, peace, and joy for all of us in the name of Jesus. Amen. I would love to talk about dreams and visions. I think it's a beautiful thing to dream, especially to instill dreams, the idea and the belief that it's okay to dream into kids, especially the children nowadays, because so many of the youth today, they don't believe that they have a future. That's one reason why there is a lot of violence, especially among a lot of the black children. They, I talked to my little young cousin, and he's uh, 17, 18 years old, and he was talking about that uh, a lot of us older people, he envies us because at least we had, we at the time when we were growing up, we seen a future. Companies that you could work for for 60, 70 years or whatever, you know. Nowadays, they don't see that. You know, the opportunities in their minds seem limited, but in reality, it's not. That's just their view. You know, I think that if you stay in a certain area, if you stay in uh, Louisville and you don't sometimes get out and see other parts of the world, other parts of Louisville, Kentucky, you know, then you think where you live in, in that little bitty community, in that little society, you think that they doom and gloom and that balance there is the way the whole world is and that's not true. Um, I wish there was a place where children could go and play basketball, learn sewing and drawing and uh, learn to play instruments and learn that, learn to have a talent that don't have to be there to benefit themselves, but learn to have a talent that they can give to God and glorify God with that talent, instruments, art. Um, I wish there was a place where children could be safe and feel safe, safe to dream, safe to be a part of a group, not a gang, a part of a group, to be around Christians, people that believe in God, people that believe in Jesus and believe that Jesus died on the cross for them. I wish there was a place like that, and I believe if there was a place like that, I would love to have a place like that for the children, you know, take the children on field trips and let them see, go to the zoo, because there are some children that never been to the zoo. Uh, take them to aquariums and uh, take them on little road trips so they can visit maybe the train station. I would love to do things like that. Just take the children out of their neighborhood so that they can see that there's a big world out here to give them a new conversation to be sad. Oh, look, did you see somebody who got killed? Look at the yellow tape there. Did you hear the gunshot? Did you hear the scream? I would love to to place a future into the children of today's heads and, and their minds, you know. But I pray for the children of this world today of 2017. I pray for each color, not just black children, white children. I pray for all children. I pray, Lord, that you watch over and you protect them. I pray that their parents open their eyes, and if the children have, has a need or is being bullied or being harmed in any way, physically or mentally or verbally, I pray that the parent sees this and addresses this issue, not with violence, but with therapy or with help or with a discussion with the teachers or counselors or with the proper authority and not take the law into their own hands. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen.